today we're going to be going over the Siemens G120 drive with the smart access module. With this module we'll be able to use our cell phone, laptop, tablet, anything with a wireless signal. We'll be able to use it to commission a drive as well as use it for diagnostics and also get control of the drive. Alright everybody, so here you can see my Siemens G120 drive as well as some other smaller Siemens drives. But with this G120 right here, I've got my IOP2 on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Then I'm going to use my Siemens G120 Smart Access module. So I'm just going to clip this in like that. You'll see it's got some flashing lights on it. That so it lets me know it's booting up. So it's got a communications light that's red currently. Now it's switched to green, letting me know that I'm good to go. And I've got my reset W LAN button here. So I can actually use that to turn the wireless on or off on this Smart Access module. So now that I've got my G120 Smart Access module on, I'm going to open up my phone settings, whether it's Android or iOS or a laptop or a computer. And I'm going to select my G120 Smart Access module here. When I do, it's going to ask me for my password, just like on your home router, just, you know, your SSID. So we'll type that in. You'll notice I'm now connected. So now I'm going to go over here to my internet. And in here, I'm just going to type an IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. And I'm going to go to that. And as it's loading, you'll see it pops up and it'll say initializing database. So now here on this screen, I've got a lot of good information. Uh, I've got green, meaning, you know, I'm on. I've got the control unit part number there, as well as any warnings or errors here. Uh, you'll see on here, I've got quick commissioning where I can actually use my motor nameplate data and go through and commission the drive. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and reset the factory settings right here. So while that's doing that, you know, you want to make sure you've got your nameplate information from your motor. So I've got mine. It's a little one horsepower motor. So we're going to be using that to type in some information. Okay, so once it's done, you'll see I got my successful check mark. So then we'll hit OK. And now we're going to start entering information to commission our drive. So we're just going to do a standard drive control. I'm working with 230 volts, NEMA motor and I'm going to start entering in this information. So the amperage on my nameplate is 2.8 amps. And I've got, like I said, a one horsepower motor, 1750 RPM. So once I've typed in all of that information, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now it's going to ask you for your IO configuration. So this is going to be the standard configuration. You can actually go through and make changes to this if you want. Uh, most of the time, just leave it as standard. So now I'm going to enter in our minimum, maximum speed, as well as some other things. So for this demo, I'm just going to enter in two seconds for a ramp up and two seconds for a ramp down time. It's going to ask if you want linear or parabolic. We're going to select linear. And then finally, it's going to ask for your motor ID. So, you know, there's a couple of different options here that you can select. I always recommend to people to do a motor ID because every single motor from any manufacturer is going to be different. But for this demo purpose, we're just going to select inhibited. And with that, we've now commissioned our drive. So I can actually click on parameters here and go in and I can change any parameters that I want to or see them. We can also go into monitoring diagnostics as well as backup and restore. So we can actually use our phone to backup and restore the settings from this drive. For now, let's go into jog. And so this is gonna be our control panel and you'll see it's got a whole bunch of information here. So we're gonna hit get control. And it's gonna say, you know, only use this when you can see the motor, things like that. So I'm gonna hit okay. And so now I've got control of this motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit hand and I can either use the slide bar or I can type in a speed. So I'm gonna type in a speed here, a thousand RPMs. And then I'm going to hit the green go. And you should be able to hear the motor now spinning in the background. Now I can use the slider, make it go really fast, make it go really slow. I can also reverse the direction. So now my motor's spinning the backwards. And you'll see up there my speed has changed to negative. And I can slide it and you'll see all of that stuff is changing. So I'll go ahead and hit stop. So now it's stopped and I'm going to release control by hitting free control. One last thing we can look at, we can go in here and look at diagnostics. So with this diagnostics, what you can do is any faults that you have, you can acknowledge all of them as well as you can send an email. So you can actually take this whole fault snapshot and send that to an email if you need to for diagnostic. And that's going to be quick setup and tutorial on the Siemens G120 smart access module.